I'm Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. You may or may not know how to line up text with optical margin alignment or Roman hanging punctuation. Weird phrases I know, but this is how you do it in Adobe InDesign. Here we are in InDesign and I have a quote set up. This quote is from Michael Scott. Fool me once, strike one. Fool me twice, strike three. Notice how the quotation mark takes up space along the left side of the margin of our text box. What this does is it indents the actual text on the first line and it makes it look like our text isn't actually all aligned left. So how do we take care of this? Depending on which program you're in, for instance in Illustrator it's called Roman Hanging Punctuation. Well in InDesign it's actually called Optical Margin Alignment and you can adjust this so that your punctuation or even the serifs of your text appear towards the outside of your text box. Let me show you how to do this. For instance, we're gonna grab this text box and then we're gonna go up to Window down to type and tables and to story. Now, I don't know why it's so hidden away, but here it is. It's called optical margin alignment. And once you check mark this, you can adjust how much that alignment is shifted to the left or to the right. So for instance, right now it has 12 point written down and that shifted a pretty decent amount, but I want this F to line up with this O. I could pull out a ruler, for instance, and line it up with the O, and then I can adjust the optical margin alignment until I feel like the F aligns with the O on this page. I can adjust it quite a bit, for instance, up to 50 points. Hit enter just to see where that lines it up. And if 50 points isn't enough, I can keep adjusting that perhaps to 75, and that looks like it lines it up pretty well. Now one thing you might note is that the Michael Scott down here is also out of a line, so that may be something you tab it in with the tabs dialog panel or with with spacebar. I know that's a little bit uh, unorthodox, but you could just space it over to make sure it aligns with the rest of your text. So there we go, that's how you use optical margin alignment with your text boxes to make sure they align the text to the margin and that keeps everything nice and aligned and straight and keeps your quotations outside of your text box allowing you not to have to create separate text boxes for your quotation marks. If you guys like this video, make sure you like this video, subscribe for more tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.